Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap and in today's video i'm going to teach you the concept of u state hook in react js so tutorial is going to be step by step without any delay let's start so friends first of all you have to create a new react js project you can create that using npx create react app i have already created that and open my project in visual studio code you can see on the left side and on the right side i have opened this browser so we can see the output so now first of all i will click on it file not file but terminal and now i will click on new terminal here i have to write a command npm start so we can run our project in our browser so it is giving me this link for localhost i'm going to copy this and paste this link here and now i will press enter so on the right side you can see that currently our simple react chess project is running now i will click on the source folder inside this you will see these following files so first of all i will open this app.js you will see this component and this code so first of all i am going to remove this header html element and all of its inner content so now if i save you can see that all of this logo and text is gone before moving towards the practical i want to share the definition with you of u state hook useState is a React hook that allows you to add state to a functional component. So basically, uh, useState is a function that is used to add a state in your React JS component. So let me show you that how you can do that. First of all, I will type here import. Let me hide this left side bar and I'm going to off this auto save. And first of all, I will comment this and now I will refresh. So we can only compile our application once we will save, save our code otherwise you will see errors on the right side so first of all i will write here import and then you will type this bracket and then you will type here u state then you will type from and react basically this is auto completed by my visual studio code but you have to import this u state from react then you can use this in your component and now our next question is how we have to use this so first of all i will type here const and then i have to type here uh, an array like this and then i will type here a variable name for example count and then we have to define a function name here i will explain the purpose of this line but first of all let me type here u state is equal to u state and then i will type here the default value so first of all let me explain here why we have pass here for so this is the default value of our state you can pass any value of any type maybe this would be a string maybe this would be an array maybe this would be a javascript object so it can be anything but this would be a default value of our state variable and uh, this function will return two elements the first element would be our state and count and we have defined the initial value for so it means that first time when our this component will be rendered the initial value of our uh, variable would be count and then it return the second element is a function that is used to set the state or that is used to update our state so for example if our state value is 4 and due to some reasons we want to update our state value you can not do this like for example like like count or count is equal to count plus one you cannot update your state like this it will generate an error but you have to use this set state function let me copy this function here and now this is how you can update your uh, state so you will think that in javascript that what we have done here basically uh, this is our destructing method for example if we have an array let me teach you that what is destructing method is for example we have an array like let a is equal to 2 3 and 5 or let me type here a string for example ali and i am going to type here policeman and i'm going to name this variable data so data is an array currently so if we want to assign these values this left side value and this right side value to two different variables so what we can do in destructing method we can declare here two variables for example user name so this is just a dummy variable and uh, user designation is equal to data so now as we know that uh, the first element of this array would be assigned to the first variable in this array and similarly the second element that will be returned by this array will be stored in the second variable here so this is the same stuff we are doing here basically as i already told you that he, this use state return two things the first of all it will be our state 
that will be count and the second element would be a call a function that we can use to update our state so if you can see here currently we are passing four but this four will only be used uh, initially so for example if we update our state then our this component this app.js component will be re-rendered once this component will be re-rendered the data that will be stored inside this count array will never be four again so for example if you have updated your state and set it to 32 what will be happen your this complete component will be re-rendered and once it will be re-rendered now the count variable value not before it will be 32 because we have updated our uh, state value to 32 so this four will only be used initially and uh, now let me show you that how our state would be work i mean let's move toward the practical so first of all inside the div uh, inside your return statement first of all before writing your html you must have to wrap your html in a single div otherwise your app will generate an error for, so for example if i will type here two div elements like this you can see that my editor is giving me the error so we cannot do that so a div is already created here so first of all i'm going to create a button and i'm going to type here minus and here again i'm going to type here a span element and then i am going to create a button inside this i am going to type the plus element so for example here i'm going to type these brackets so i can put my javascript inside this so first of all i will copy this count variable and paste inside this let me zoom in my code a little bit and now if i save and from right side i want to zoom in so you can see that initially once we have refreshed our page the value of our count was 4 because 4 is defined as a default value for our uh, use state means count one more thing you have to keep in mind you can define as much use state variables inside your app as you want uh, it is not restriction that you only have to use single uh, use state and the second thing is you can assign any value to this count so maybe you can assign an array like this or maybe you can assign an initial value of the array like cat and maybe you can assign an object or maybe you can assign classes or classes object to this count variable so this is up to you this state can manage any type of data type and uh, in generally and simply you can see that any data type that you can store in a javascript variable you can also store your use state can also manage that data so now for example if what we want if user will click on the plus button on the right side we want to update this counter so what we can do what we are going to do first of all i will type here a custom attribute like on click and here i'm going to pass a callback function like this here again what I'm going to do uh, set count or let me type here increment so we have called the increment function here and I will copy this function and define this function again inside my this function component so function increment so now I will use this set state function that I already explained to you this is a function that we can use to update our state so first of all i will copy this set state function and uh, what we can do count plus one so we can update state like this but this is not the uh, good method to update our state i i will show you that how what is the best method to update our state but before this let me show you the result uh, initially yes we have to pass our value four that's why we were not seeing the four here and now if i click on the plus button you can see that the five is printed here recently i told you that this is not the best method to update our state so what was the reason behind this the reason was for example if i copy and paste this line single time here so if i only click on once what should be printed here i hope you will see seven because we are incrementing our count variable two times but unfortunately our app is not going to work in this way for example let me refresh initial value was four if i click on plus it is again behaving that uh, we only typed here set state single time but we have typed here two times so what is the reason it is doing here so because uh, once user will click on this button this function will be called and then set state will say that count plus one so what will be the value of count that will be four and uh, the the four 
and what will be happen uh, again when this set state will be called still the value of count would be 4 and uh, 4 plus 1 it means 5 so then our component will be re-rendered and then 5 will be assigned to this count variable so that's why uh, we cannot we cannot use this method to update our state so let me show you how we can do that so first of all i will type here use state inside this you have to again pass this callback function and you will receive our default parameter like previous state and then you can type here previous state or let me copy this pre state and paste here and plus one so this is the good method to update our state let me save this and refresh and now you can see that it is working in the same way but now if i copy and paste this and refresh so now you can see that i only click single time but now it is incrementing by two so friends when you update your state make sure to use this callback function in your state and use the default parameter that is passed uh, by react or maybe you can say that by javascript and then you can using that previous state you can update your state here so this is the ma best method to update your state so similarly what we can do we can easily uh, just copy this and paste this button here like this and here i'm going to type decrement now i have to copy this function here and paste here let me copy this complete function paste here from here i will cut this function name and paste here and similarly uh, previous state minus one so now let me again refresh and if i click on plus minus so it is working very fine so one important thing again i am going to repeat that once your state is changed your component will be re-rendered and uh, here is a tip that i am going to give you for example if you have two values that you think that these values are going to change on the same time so you can instead of defining two states for example you are measuring the length of a room so maybe you will have two different uh, you can define two different variables like copy paste paste and here let me define here zero and zero here i'm going to type here uh, length and width so for example if you think that once your user will measure the room length these two values will be changed immediately so it is a tip that instead of defining two use state variables what you can do you can define an object for example like this like l-e-n-g-t-h colon 23 or initial value if you want to assign zero it's up to you and now again i will type here width and 10 so yes it is giving me an error because we need to comment this first and now i'm also going to remove them and let me not remove this increment function here so i can tell you that how we can do that and instead of defining here uh, room data and set room data okay now you can see that i have removed my previous code and define a state here with name room data and a set room data a variable to store the function that will be used to update our state here we have the increment function and so first of all now you can see that we have defined an object here so first of all if we want to def uh, display the initial value like room data width uh, room width or it would be a better if we name this room data to data or sorry not data but uh, room and the callback function would be set room so on the right side you can see that initially the width of our room was a uh, 10 so or maybe we can say that 10 meters and the length would be 12 and again what we can do we can print here a br statement like this and similarly we need to cut this forward slash and paste this here and also again i will copy this and paste here and this time after this room i am going to type here l e n g t h room length so now you can see that initial value is changed so now if we if you want to update width only what you can do inside your increment function first of all we can use our this set room uh, function that will be used to update our state inside this we will call our callback function like this and prev 
room you can name anything to this parameter with the same name then you will use this parameter inside your functions body and now inside this function body again i will write this bracket so now i'm going to use this operator priv uh, room and then i will type here comma and then i will type here width colon room not room but uh, priv room data or let me copy this priv room here and paste here and then i will type here dot width plus one so what is ha actually happening here basically uh, this operator is called spread operator you can search on the internet about it but what it will do it will print our complete this object at this position length and width so now we put comma and then we type define a property here width and then we use priv room uh, variable which is a parameter that we have passed inside our function which contain the previous state data and then from previous state we get the value of width so which was 10 and then we incremented this value so now the width would be 10 and then 10 would be stored to this width object so first of all if in our state the width key would be available then the value of this width key will be updated otherwise uh, a new key will be inserted to our uh, this object so this was the very simplified method to update an object so you can use this spread operator you will see here in many tutorials and when you will working with the application this op uh, operator will be very helpful for you if you are still un unable to understand that i want to suggest you that please must learn this spread operator it will be very helpful for you so now uh, let me again save this and now let me refresh and now if i click on this plus button so now you can see that our width is incremented by one again if i click here so you can see that our width is updating so friends this is how we can update an object value inside our state i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any tips and tricks that how we can uh, improve our teaching method you can let us know in the comment section if you have any opinions if you have any questions you can please must write us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching